My name is Hardit Singh Malik. I was born into a wealthy Sikh family in 1894 in Rawalpindi, Punjab in British India. When the war broke out, I was studying in Britain for my history degree at Balliol College, Oxford University. I eagerly wanted to contribute to the war effort by joining the Royal Flying Corps, but was refused, so I joined the French Red Cross in 1915 as an ambulance driver, with a view to joining the French Air Force. My Oxford tutor, however, spoke to the highest authorities here, and eventually secured a cadetship for me in the Royal Flying Corps. As an observant Sikh on arriving in the Corps, I received a great deal of discrimination on account of my turban and beard, but I stood my ground, and was later given special dispensation to wear a specially designed flying helmet that fitted over my turban. My colleagues, in fact, gave me the nickname of the Flying Hobgoblin. I was initially posted to Aldershot for training in early 1917, and was commissioned as a flight lieutenant into No. 26 Squadron on 22nd of June 1917, then transferred to No. 28 Squadron and served on the Western Front flying a Sopwith Camel. I flew combat missions over France and Italy in late 1917 and secured several kills. Unfortunately, though, I sustained bullet wounds to my right leg in a dogfight later in 1917. It took me a couple of months in hospital to recuperate, first in France and later in London. On recovering, I resumed flying with the RFC, which later became known as the Royal Air Force. When I went back, I was flying the Bristol F-2 fighter with No. 141 Squadron and was based at Biggin Hill alongside pilots from countries all over the world, such as Australia, Canada, New Zealand, Rhodesia and Argentina. After the armistice, I was posted to Nivelle, near Brussels, with No. 11 Squadron. I was one of the fortunate few. My miraculous escapes had a profound effect on my life. It convinced me that one dies only when one's time comes. A conviction which led to a kind of fearlessness which has given me strength throughout my life in facing several crises in the years to come.